Hello. In this review, I will show you how the anti-detect Octo browser works. This browser allows to arbitrate traffic, work with a huge number of accounts, replace fingerprints and also use it to cheat reviews on different platforms quite easily and safely. In principle, the browser affords to do multiple tasks and provides a fairly high anonymity. And if you also use proxy, which is highly recommended to work with multiple accounts and not endanger them, so your work will be completely anonymous. I will use and configure proxies using mobile proxies from iProxy Online. Now I will show you how to use the Octo browser tools, how to set up a proxy and what features this browser got. Open Octo browser. The first handy thing that catches your eye as soon as you launch the browser is quick profile and create profile. If you're a beginner and you want to start working with browser immediately to see how it works, then you can use quick profile. With just one click you can create a profile and run it. Just note that next to the quick profile button indicated which operating system will be displayed in the browser, Windows or Macos. As in many other anti-detect browsers, it is recommended to choose the operating system which is installed on your PC in order to have the correct substitutions of fingerprints. I have Windows, so I choose Windows. As you can see, profile was created in one click and I can run it. I will run it and you can make sure everything is working correctly. Also in the working field, you can set a proxy for this profile in one click. But I will return to this field a little bit later, when I'll be setting up my proxy. Here you can change the name of the profile and when changing the name you can select tags at the bottom. Tags are essentially a grouping of profiles by platforms, topics and other things that you're interested. You can group profiles as you like. If I close this window, then in the workspace above you can see which tags I already got. And by selecting one of them, you can see which profiles are configured under these tags. And by clicking on edit tags or set the tags that you need. And it's convenient that everything is in the working field and not in separate tabs. It's all managed in the workspace. You don't need to worry that even using a quick profile your work may be incorrect. Octo Browser uses the fingerprints of real devices and does not generate itself. And another huge plus of this browser. Profile settings are managed in the browser core, which provides excellent protection against identification and account crossing. Let's stay in the working field. Now I will show you one more option, which you can use. At the top, where your profile is, by clicking on the GIA, a pop-up menu opens. In general, everything is clear here. You need a team tab. You can invite more users to the team and grant them different access rights. At the same time, you can use an unlimited number of devices in Octo Browser, regardless of your subscriptions, and you can work with a large team. Specify an email address, specify what access rights to grant and send an invitation. In such way, several users can work with multiple accounts at the same time. Now back to the working field. Another two tabs at the top, proxy and templates. I will start with the proxy. So far I have not set any proxy. There is an option to add a new proxy or input a proxy. If I select bulk add. Here you can drag a file, if you have, with all your proxies on your PC, or set it in the row, as it's shown in example. And when everything is added, click Confirm. I will select Add Proxy and I will show you how to set separately proxies. Let me remind you that I'll be using mobile proxies from iProxy Online. Go to iProxy Online. I already have a proxy in my account that I'll be using. How to work with iProxy Online you can watch in review on the channel. The link will be in the description. Now I copy my proxy data and import it into Octo Browser. Above also do not forget to select the type of protocol. Octo Browser also allows you to change IP by URL. And this option is very useful. 
iProxy provides such an opportunity and while I'll be working with my profile, especially when there are a lot of them, I can easily change my mobile IP. Go to iProxy Online. On the right of the profile, select Settings. And in the window that opens, I need to select the Change IP tab. Here is the link to change my IP. I need to copy it and paste it into Octo Browser. Now we need to check the proxy. Click Check Proxy. As you can see, everything is working correctly. I set the proxy. Here is also displayed its status. Now select the Templates tab. Here you can create one or more template profiles and then use them when setting up other profiles and you won't need to monotonously repeat the same operation manually. When you create a template, it is essentially a new profile. Now go to Profiles tab. And now I will create new profile. If you immediately need to go to a specific page or platform and work there, you can set a link here. Select your operating system below. Lower you can select tags as well as edit them. Next step – General. Here you can see user agent fonts. I said that the browser uses real fingerprints and in principle you do not need to touch anything here if you don't know what to change. And if you know, then everything is easy can be changed manually. Interface is quite simple. Next the hardware tab. You can change hardware values here. All in pop-up menus. Choose at your discretion. You can also select hardware noise. Next is the connection tab. Here you can set the proxy. Nothing is set by default. You can choose from a list. You see, here is the proxy that I set earlier. But you can also set a new proxy in the same way as I did earlier. And if you wish, you can save it to the list. You can also select Web RTC and set DNS. But again, do this only if you know what to set. Cookies tab. You can import cookies. You can drag a file here or set it manually. I will use cookies from my Facebook profile. The browser perfectly pumps profiles and advertising cabinets. When I will launch created profile, I will show you that everything will be working correctly. The next step is storages. In Octo Browser, critical data is separated by storage. For example, profile database leaks do not lead to cookies leaks. Here you can also choose at your discretion. Well, the last step is extensions. In Octo Browser, you can install extensions and add functionality to the selected profile. You can install both extensions from the Chrome storage and custom extensions. When everything is set, click Create Profile. The profile has been created and now I can run it. It is now recommended to check anonymity in order to make sure that the work will be safe before starting our work. Go to Huernet. And as you can see, 100% disgust. Now you also need to check how well the fingerprints have changed. Go to Pixelscan.net. You see everything is approved. There are no questions about IP either. Now let's go to Facebook. And as you can see I was automatically logged into my account. And at the same time I did not enter my login and password. This means that the cookie input was successful and Facebook did not have any questions. And now I can work absolutely safely and anonymously. When you're done, just stop your profile. Ready. That's how it works. If you still have questions after this video, then write them in the comments. We will help you to figure it out. And for iProxy users, the Octo Browser team has provided a promo code, which you can use and get free access to work in the browser for the first 5 days. And for those who want to understand traffic arbitration, we recommend the excellent resource fsecret.com. There are interesting articles, blogs and all the information you need on the topic so you can become successful in traffic arbitrage. The link will be in the description. Also the guys from the fsecret.com recently published an interesting article about Octo Browser, which I also recommend you to read on their website. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and click like. That's all for now. Bye.